What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you're interested in a budget-friendly gaming case, this is definitely going to interest you. I've got the Lian Lee Lancool 215X gaming case right here. Fit for ITX, MATX, ATX, and EATX motherboards up to 280 millimeters. This was built specifically with airflow and thermal management in mind. Obviously very important for gamers or video editors, anyone running computationally heavy stuff. So I'll be talking a lot about that. Let's get into it. Okay, starting from the outside in, you'll notice two pre-installed 200 millimeter ARGB fans in the front, nice and big. In the rear, there's a 120 millimeter fan. These 200 millimeter fans, however, are not practically 200 millimeters with respect to airflow. Uh, part of the airflow is blocked by the chassis on the inside. Not a lot, but somewhere between a fourth and a third of each fan in the front is just for looks. From an expert's point of view, you have the effective airflow of two 120 to 140 millimeter fans in the front, which is still great, and the 200 millimeter aspect makes it look really cool. All right, they'll still deliver an airflow up to 98.3 CFM, that's cubic feet per minute. You combine all of this with the mesh panels, right? Look at this, the mesh panel on top, the honeycomb vents on, on the rear and the back near the PSU, really, really an impressive amount of ventilation in this model. Uh, there's a magnetic dust filter on top, like I said, a removable full length dust tray on the bottom. Whoa, here we go. That's going to uh, pull right out. It's going to protect the internal components from dust accumulation without impeding the airflow. It does need to be removed by pulling straight out. So you may have to turn your computer to the side or pull it away from the wall to fully remove it. You know, certain sacrifices were made to keep this extremely low price, so I get it. The Landcool 215X supports a maximum of seven fans and radiators in various sizes and configurations. The front panel supports up to three 120 millimeter fans or two 140 millimeter fans, 280 millimeter or 360 millimeter radiator with a max thickness of 70 millimeters. Lian Lee says that if you still use the 200 millimeter fans mounted outside of the frame, you'll have enough room to front mount a 360 millimeter radiator. I personally wouldn't suggest that. There's already some blockage from the metal of the case. Therefore, these fans are already slightly static pressure challenged. Uh, if you jam a radiator in front, creating more blockage, it might do more harm than good. Uh, you, know, you could have a radiator on top though. The top panel supports up to two 120 or 140 millimeter fans, 240 millimeters or 280 millimeter radiator with a max thickness of 55 millimeters. The bottom panel supports two 120 millimeter fans as well. Tons of options for cooling, so much airflow support. I checked online for some CPU, GPU, 3D thermal benchmarks. This case did super well in its class from all the data. Lian Li Li's Landcool 215 was at the top of the charts for CPU temperatures, meaning it was the lowest temperature, right? So it's just got a really favorable design for CPU cooling. Lots of ventilation at the top, a lot of open area on the bottom and at the rear face of the case. So they've really delivered on their promise of good airflow. You've probably noticed the transparent tempered glass side panel easily bask from the RGB lighting, from all the gear that you might have on the inside. Before we jump inside, I'll show you what's going on with the IO panel on the top. It's got all the essentials you need. It's got power, reset, LED, two USB 3.0 ports, and HD audio combo jack. In terms of cable management on the inside, there's a 22 millimeter thick space behind the motherboard back here to ensure that the cables fit in well and you've got rubber grommets around the motherboard to keep the cables nice and neat. The max GPU card length you'll get here is 370 millimeters, max CPU cooler height 166 millimeters and supports power supplies up to 210 millimeters. The fans in front are obviously RGB fans. They come with many effects that you'll enjoy viewing through that mesh panel. The 215X comes with a pre-installed fan hub, which provides extra power to potentially three more fans and one more ARGB 
device. Lian Li also gives you the option to control the fan lighting with 5 volt 3 pin addressable RGB motherboards. Just press the LED button for 3 seconds to pass over control of the lighting to the motherboard. Isn't that great? We all love options, right? That's going to be compatible with Asus, ASRock, and Gigabyte. And that's pretty much it, everyone. The Lian Li Lancool 215X gaming case. After doing my homework, I found that the Lian Li Lancool 215X did actually perform very well with respect to thermal benchmarks. If keeping your system cool for a budget is a priority for you, this case truly is a great option. It looks great. You've got room for customization, multiple ways to control the RGB lighting, cable management, ventilation, up the wazoo, right? Only a few drawbacks, but that's to be expected at such a low price. And I believe that they've made some really smart sacrifices, right? The front-facing fans don't actually provide 200 millimeters of practical surface area for airflow, but you still get at least 140 millimeters out of each one and an awesome look. And again, it was still top in its class for thermal benchmarks. Let us know what you think of the Lian Li Lancool 215X gaming case in the comments and reviews. For current prices, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with Newegg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. I've got a gaming chair right here that's great for either gamers or office workers. This one definitely is worth your time. The Dowinks gaming chair. Let's get into it. All right, it comes with this user guide and a fancy envelope. Makes us feel like we're being invited into an exclusive party, which is really, really cool. The guide makes installation a breeze. It'll probably take you just 25 minutes max to put together. I've done that for you already, so as to not waste your time. I'm just gonna put the envelope right there for my own convenience. Uh, what you'll notice first here is the incredible look. They had some quality control here. There is not one loose stitch in the fabric. This thing looks good. And check out the ergonomic design. It's winged back, provides multi-point body contact to evenly distribute pressure, saving your spine and lumbar from unnecessary pain. Really sturdy construction and eco-friendly materials here. It boasts an alloy frame covered in quality hand-stitched PU leather, that's polyurethane leather, completely artificial, which means it's vegan, saving the planet. The seat has five inches of high-density foam, making it really comfortable for your caboose. The seating area dimensions are 20 inches by 21 inches. The backrest is 36 inches tall and 23 inches wide. And under the seat, there's an upgraded LANT gas cylinder, not only adding lifetime to the chair, but also letting you adjust the height three full inches. All right, here I am descending three inches. Boo! <laughs> very, very easy. I'm gonna pull that up. All right, once you're in the chair, you'll also enjoy 360 degrees swivel capability and super smooth racing caster wheels for mobility. Recline from 90 degrees all the way back to 180 for working, gaming, reading, napping, or streaming movies on the ceiling. Ah, <sighs> the world is your oyster. <laughs> when you're locked in at a certain angle, you still get 20 degrees or so of controllable rocking as well. See that? That is really nice. There's a retractable foot rest for even more relaxation. Let me pull that out and demonstrate. That is nice. The, when I adjust the back, the armrests move with the back as well. That's a nice little detail to know. It supports up to 350 pounds of weight, so this thing can really manage all shapes and sizes. Dowings isn't leaving anyone behind, and of course, this wouldn't be the Dowings Massage gaming chair without the massage function. All right, connect via USB to a port on your computer, power switch, or power bank. Check this out, the cord is right here. I've got my own little USB power bank. Check that out. <laughs> Enjoy the massage function built into the lumbar support cushion. They are really upping the game for gaming chairs. 
This model is a great way to stay comfortable all day. Stretch out if you need to relax in the middle of a tough day. Make any time you're using your computer, PC, laptop, Xbox, or PlayStation more enjoyable. Do everything strain-free while maintaining ergonomic support. And that's all, eggheads. This gaming chair would perform well for work or leisure. It's got a great handmade feel, all PU leather, wonderful ergonomic support, so much freedom to adjust the seat height, backrest angle, rocking angle, the footrest, swivel, the Dowinx massage gaming chair. Let us know what you think of it in the comments and reviews. For specific pricing, please check the description or click that link below. Thanks so much for your time. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now. And now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. In this segment, we're taking a look at Lee Howe's gaming keyboard and mouse combo. Really a terrific, terrific wireless keyboard and mouse set that doubles as both suitable for work and for gaming. Let's get it out of the box. And we're off. This is everything you get in the box. Okay, a user manual. A charging cable, of course. Your awesome mouse. And your sleek looking Lihao gaming keyboard. Okay, it's a 104 key waterproof keyboard. You see here you got a full number pad. There's a little logo here that's very really nice. Multimedia function keys along the top. The keyboard supports 29 key rollover and anti-ghosting. That means you can press up to 29 keys simultaneously and they'll all be registered as inputs. It's been pretty well ergonomically designed in my opinion. Smooth lines, rounded edges at the base. On the uh, flip side here, you've got your angle adjusters, right? That's very important. You've got rubber pads at each of the four corners as well. That's gonna prevent any slipping. You've got your on off control switch, uh, control switch, excuse me, right here to uh, switch between on off mode and wireless mode. We'll get to that later. You're gonna really love that. The keys are positioned a little low, uh, if, so it feels really convenient for quick typing. It feels very convenient for quick typing. I actually type that. <laughs> if you can't type quickly anyway, don't blame the keyboard. Uh, but I am a pretty decent typist and I like the feel of this. In my opinion, it supports really decent accuracy. My fingers don't really feel tired while typing at this. You're gonna avoid finger fatigue. You know, the fact that you can type at this all day and feel comfortable is one of the reasons it's not just a gaming combo, but also great for the office. It's also spill resistant. It boasts a sealed design, which prevents spilled water from destroying the keyboard. And the transparent caps underneath make the lighting effects pretty good too. Let's turn it on so you can see. I've already charged the keyboard. I'm told you only have to charge it twice a year. That's insane. That'll obviously depend on how often you're using it though, which will vary from person to person. Get this, the keyboard is actually a wireless receiver shared with the mouse using 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology. What you do is you take out the receiver from the bottom of the mouse like so, it's so right here, whoop, feel like Sherlock Holmes taking out some kind of mysterious tool. I'm gonna plug that into a USB port, which is powered by my computer. Okay, now I can turn on the mouse. There we go, and I can turn on the keyboard. Voila, that is awesome. We can now enjoy the convenience of wireless. All right, you can see the lighting effects already. You can change the brightness by holding function with the up or down arrow. Let me demonstrate. So I'm going to hold function and uh, change the brightness there, up a little bit, down a little bit, up a little bit, down a little bit. You can use function with delete to toggle between the different lighting modes. So I'm still holding function, I'm gonna hit delete Get that breathing mode, I think it is. Yeah, there we go, we're breathing. Very, very nice, now it's off, on, awesome. So uh, you can adjust the speed of the lighting effects with holding function and left or right arrow, right? So all of it is gonna look really, really good. Uh, let's see how it sounds, right? If the, how a keyboard sounds is also very important. I think it sounds really nice. 
The keyboard's got a built-in battery capacity of 4,000 milliamp hours, whereas the mouse has one of 800 milliamp hours. The keyboard will automatically shut off after five minutes of inactivity, but to save battery power as best as possible when you're not using it, try to remember to switch the keyboard off, right? And the mouse as well. Okay, speaking of the mouse, you'll see you have a six button mouse here. Left, right click, obviously, scroll wheel, DPI button, and the forward and the back switches on the left side. The left and the right click are muted. Don't see that every day. When we click here, you barely get any clicking noise. That is very, very cool, right? So if you have to incessantly click, the noise won't bother you or anyone else. Metallic scroll wheel feels really nice on the finger. Chrome edges, bottom of the mouse also uses metallic materials, feels pretty premium. When I turn it on, all right, you'll notice it defaults to a seven color cycle breathing mode. We see it uh, comes through the logo, comes through the sides a little bit. That will, however, be blocked by your hand uh, just a little bit when you use it. Uh, it is an optical mouse with four levels of DPI, 800, 1200, 1600, and 2400. This gives you options for all types of use cases. And again, it shares the keyboard as a wireless receiver. They both get up to about 10 meters or 30 feet of wireless range. So if your computer is close by, connectivity will not be an issue at all. Just remember, turn it off when you're not using it to conserve power. And that's it, eggheads, Li Hao's wireless gaming keyboard and mouse combo. Although not just fit for gaming, certainly an option for the office as well. Get that full 104 key waterproof keyboard, really nice matching mouse with muted click buttons to keep your environment more quiet, more serene, but no less efficient. Let us know what you think of this keyboard and mouse combo in the comments and reviews. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. Hi, welcome back to Newegg Now. I'm James, and today I'll be talking to you about the Wavelink Quantum DAX AC3200 wireless router. So let's start out with the design, because it's not every day that a router wins a design award, but that's what happened here, as this router is an IF design award winner. The router's case was designed by Jacob Jensen, who was a prominent Danish industrial designer who passed away back in 2015. He's famous for sleek European product designs, such as his work with Bang & Olufsen, and long before Steve Jobs, he coined the slogan, We Think Differently. He was all about minimalist designs. Jacob Jensen also said of his design aesthetic, the goal was different, but not strange. So let's see if this delivers on that promise, and I'll let you be the judge. One look at the box, and you get the impression that they were going for a luxury product here. It has a sleek look to it, and nice understated black on black fonts. Let's have a look at the case of the router itself. Uh -huh. So here's the router, here's the award-winning case. You can see, again, a very sleek black case, very simple in a modern appliance sort of way. It really wouldn't look out of place anywhere in the home, which makes it a lot nicer aesthetically than your average router. But is it worth the price? Let's get down to the router's actual specs. The Quantum DAX boasts the ultimate in Wi-Fi performance. It uses a Broadcom BCM4709CO dual-core 1.4 GHz chipset with 1G flash to handle complex communications. It carries 2.4G and 5G signals, which are conducted by two Broadcom BMC4366 chipset coprocessors separately for better performance. Dual speeds of 2.4 GHz at 1000 Mbps, plus 5 GHz at 2167 Mbps for a very fast home network. This of course means 4K streaming videos and some intense online gaming without the buffering. For ports, it has a 10, 100, and 1000 Mbps Ethernet WAN port along with 3 10, 100, 1000 Mbps Ethernet LAN ports and a USB 3.0 port which can share files and media with network devices. In other features, the product description calls this an elegant LCD display 
That's the LCD display on top of the router itself, which shows Wi-Fi connectivity and router status. There are also three touch keys there for ease of use. It has some security features built in as well, including parental controls, which ensure your online experience is safe and secure for the kiddies. It also has malicious site blocking and remote access. Finally, the integrated heat sink ensures fast heat dissipation to prolong the router's lifespan. It comes with an easy setup assistant with multi-language support and provides a quick and hassle-free installation for your home or office. Okay, that's the Wavelink Quantum DAX AC3200 wireless router. Shop for that in the link below if you're into it. Also, check out some other cool new products on Newegg.com, including cameras, gaming gadgets, mechanical keyboards, ARGB fans, and more. I'm James Oliver. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, thanks for watching. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to Newegg Now. I'm cold because it's winter and I'm sitting behind these fans and they're giving off a lot of air. Today we're looking at the Vetru SY120 ARGB case fan set. There are actually three fans in this set. You can find it in sets of five or in singles on Newegg.com. So right out of the box, this package includes three 120 millimeter ARGB fans, one controller hub, and it also includes, of course, this RF wireless ARGB remote controller. So these fans are connected to your motherboard with a standard 5 volt 3 pin RGB header. It also comes with a hub that will connect the remote control. And for some motherboards that do not have 5 volt 3 pin ports, that's where the remote control really comes in handy. That will be used to control the lights and it can also control the fan speed. Now I like to use the remote control anyway because it's convenient and it's more fun. So here I'll play around a bit with the light settings. You have a good spectrum of light colors and you can adjust those by toggling through the modes on this. I must say this particular RF wireless remote control is pretty ugly. I'm not a big fan of these colors but it does make it easy to find the different functions. So if you click your auto, it's gonna take you back to this rainbow spectrum of moving colors. We can also speed up the movements or slow them down. You can see I'm slowing down the movement as these lights track along the LED ring here, and then I can speed them up, all adjustable on the remote. There you go. So very customizable in that sense. Now, if you have a look at some of the other functions, you can see here, again, a broad spectrum of light patterns. You can also set it to sit in some stable, static light colors, such as white here. Breathing, here's green, blue, red, and so on. So a lot you can play with in terms of the ARGB light settings. Now, the flashy lights aside, these fans perform very, very nicely. They're 120 millimeters in size. They feature seven fan blades and they shift a large amount of air volume. I'm really feeling that volume and air pressure coming at me now. It's a stable airflow. It's going to dissipate heat really nicely. The fans have speeds up to 1500 RPM and airflow up to 35.2 CFM. All four corners of each fan are also equipped with an anti-vibration pad. And uh, these are going to reduce the resonance and effectively reduce fan noise as well. They're not going to be rattling around inside your setup. They're very quiet. They make a little more than a faint humming sound. You might be able to hear that a little bit in the background if I just bring my mic over into the airflow here. The maximum noise level though will only reach 25 dBA. So here I'm using the remote control to toggle through some of the different setups we have for the RGB light settings. So this is the default rainbow in motion. We can also play with how fast or how slow we would like to see this by making some simple adjustments on the RF wireless ARGB controller. So here we see we can slow this movement pattern right down. Let's toggle through and see what else we have. So plenty of different lighting and color schemes to suit your tower, to suit your setup and to really spruce up that environment, whether it be your home or office. We see a lot of these ARGB light fans uh, and light accessories. You know, we have keyboards, mice, and even mouse pads now with ARGB uh, capabilities. People are using these to add something a little extra to their home system setups. 
There are also five settings to control the brightness of the lights. Here we're on the first setting, that's the dimmest. I'm just going to click through this and you can see the lights get significantly brighter. We're just going to adjust the speed here. As you can see, the movement of the lights very, very slow here. And I'm just going to gradually speed that up. So that is the Vetru SY120 ARGB case fan set. It's a set of decent ARGB fans to light up your tower and really spruce up your setup. Shop for this product in the link below and check out some other cool products from gaming gadgets like gaming mice and keyboards to cameras, speakers, all sorts of interesting desktop tech. I'm James Oliver on behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now. Enjoy your tech and I'll see you in the next one.